feels like it's already summer here because it was a pretty, uh, pretty warm walk. And good old Riley was panning quite a bit. I am here for lunch, it's Friday. And actually, I scheduled my delivery for 3.30. So I'm gonna just go back to work for like an hour and a half and then come back home. So this morning I have been shopping around for insurance and you know, when I was thinking of buying, I completely did not think about the cost of insurance because for a new bike that is a sports bike and that's financed, I do think that I should try to get as good of a coverage as I can afford. I think it will end up costing around 200 a month, which is, yeah, kind of expensive, but since it's a new bike and I need to protect it, you know, maybe it'll be worth it. I am probably going to finalize it today sometime. I'll have some daylight to ride around the neighborhood a bit and practice. Although, although they said they're only giving me enough gas to get to the nearest gas station. So there is one nearby. I actually didn't end up buying a cover yet, which I should have gotten already because it's a new bike. Why would I want to just leave it outside? exposed to the elements and everything. So I bought a cover. I'll probably arrive sometime early next week. And I figured I might as well bundle in the Bluetooth thing, which will be really cool. It'll make riding so much more fun to like bang my head around to rap and hip hop or metal while I'm riding. <laughs> Poppers, you're so cute. I don't even think she was afraid when I turned it on. So, I will do a quick roundabout. If I can do a good job of it. So yeah, there is some yellow on it, but I will ignore the yellow because it's very faint, barely there. Riley's just busy sniffing, doesn't even care about the bike. She don't give no fuck. Oh, so I completely forgot how hot you get when you ride and it's not even that bad outside right now. It's like 4.30 so the heat is starting to fade away. But I feel like with the helmet on and the boots and the gloves and the jackets, like all of it together, you just get super heated. And oh, my first stupid trip was to the gas station because they literally put barely any gas in my motorcycle. They said that they would just put enough for me to get to the gas station, so that was my first trip. And then I had to like memorize the route back to my house because it was, a, it was at a gas station that wasn't convenient to do U-turns or turning around, so. That is actually something I'm going to have to get used to. Um, maybe until I get my Bluetooth communication thing because at least maybe with Bluetooth I can set the woman to talk to me with directions but if I don't have that, I can't look at anything, right? So I have to memorize the streets I have to turn on and everything. That was really weird. That felt really weird because yeah, um, after I got moving, I definitely felt everything come back to me but there were still a few things that I need more time to get used to. For example, like the gear shifter. There were a few times I wasn't using enough energy to push it up, so I would be trying to um, shift up and then I would be engaging the throttle afterwards, but since I was still in the same gear, it would, you know, yell at me. Also, I stalled a few times coming off of a stop. <laughs> That's just because I didn't give enough throttle, but I'll get over that once I get more practice. Aside from that, I mean, I kind of remember, again, why gear is actually kind of annoying. I mean, gear looks cool, but my gloves are so annoying to put on and take off. Uh, right when I got to the gas station, it took like ages for me to take them off. My tank costed $10. I think my tank is like three gallons. It's so small. It took like th less than one minute to fill it up. I was so shocked. It was, it feels so weird to be riding again. Tomorrow, I will probably try to take a longer journey out. 
out east, my favorite area. And it's actually still decently nice out, so I think I'm going to walk Bradley one more time before the heat and the sun go away. So, I will see you guys when I get back. All right, time to do some chopping. Don't worry, I'm cutting along the surface. We got some long pieces over here. Hey! Hi, I'm back. Good morning. It's Saturday and I slept really nice. Well, I slept till almost 12 and I feel like I might have needed that because I definitely stayed up late this week some days of Dota. Um, today is going to be a late day also because Yubi is playing and none of the teams that I really liked were playing yesterday so I watched two movies. I watched The Hurricane with Denzel Washington and I also watched Wonder with uh, Julia Roberts, Owen Wilson, Jacob, Jacob Tremblay and it was really good. I would give that movie a 5 out of 5 because it invoked a lot of emotional reaction out of me and it was interesting because I don't feel like I have seen movies with a child's point of view or like showcasing children and teenagers and their experiences because I kind of forget about those things after you know I graduated college I haven't thought about my childhood at all my experiences I don't think about any of that stuff because I'm so busy thinking of adult stuff but yeah both were good movies and hi puppers so my plan for today is eat a wonderful breakfast because as usual I woke up and my stomach was screaming at me which sucks I don't know I really need to figure something out because uh, <laughs> I don't aim to want to ever have to feel that but it's tough I mean sometimes I just don't know when the right timing is to eat to prevent my stomach from getting hungry but yeah eat a nice breakfast and then I'm gonna take Hmm, too much avocado. So much avocado. I tend to put like half an avocado and one oatmeal. That's way too much. Okay, so my plan is to walk Riley for as long as I can and then get her exhausted. And then I will take a ride out east to this area I've never driven to before, but it sounds very peaceful and doesn't have a lot of people. So basically most of the ride will actually be on the freeway, but I feel like once I get 30 minutes east of here, it's going to really fan out. Like there's not going to be many cars after that point. So it'll be a good ride. Um, I will try to put this in my ear and hope it stays in there. I feel like it was decently hot outside when I took her out to pee. Hopefully I can still walk her reasonably long, but <laughs> man, it does kind of suck because I'm more, I'm further away from the shore decently far away from the shore now so it's definitely hotter out here yeah and also air dried my hair because since i'm riding i don't have to care about how my hair looks it's gonna ruin my hair anyways but dried pretty quickly i think i've only been out of the shower for like 30 minutes or something that's so fast that's weird all right i'm gonna go walk the puppers puppers ready for the walk just staring at me emotionless eyes the walk is complete and I played with her a little bit when I got back just to kind of burn out additional energy so I think she'll be fine. I put the fan on for her in my room and now I'm going to pack a few things just in case. Like I'll bring my backpack, I'll bring some water, maybe some snacks in case I get hungry, maybe some wet wipes in case I need to pee. I really hope that doesn't happen but now the long process of getting dressed and getting the bike out. So I am in a pretty abandoned road and I love it. <laughs> I don't think I've seen anybody around here and I have still a ways to go. I kind of just gone on it but I wanted to stop and record a little bit. I don't know if you can see but a freaking bug died on my windshield and I don't have any wet wipes so I have to stare at his dead body the whole time I'm riding. 
but it's uh, been a good ride. It is a little cooler out here, so what kind of sucks is that at faster speeds, like 70 and up, it's starting to get a little cold for me because less um, heat, I guess, and I only have like a short sleeve under here, and this is also textile, like I mentioned, so it's cooler than if I wore leather. But right now I'm just kind of parked on the side. Wanted to record and take some pictures. Let me show you. So it's nothing crazy, but um, it's nice because it's very just an open road. Me and my bike. We're at some. This is a heli base. Kitchen Creek Heli Base, and I'm pretty sure there should be nobody here, and there should be no helicopters landing here, but I will be on my way now. I just got back from my ride and oh I need to heat up because it was actually kind of cold um, on the highway I was pretty much on the highway for I'd say 45 minutes east and then I got off and then I ended up on a really deserted road that Kitchen Creek Road but that road didn't last very long because there was a road close sign and it was blocked when I was going through it, so I had to turn around. And then I just ended up coming back home. Uh, I think overall it was like mm, 2.5 hour ride maybe. I stopped a few along the way to take pictures and record a little bit, but uh, I forgot how sore you get. I mean, it makes sense too. Even a, even in a car, when you're driving for an hour straight, you get sore, your butt hurts. My butt was so sore and like my legs were cramped and then my hands, oh my God, my right hand, the one that you kind of have to like keep a little firm because you need to keep the throttle engaged was starting to feel a little eh towards the end. But I think, I would imagine over time that this strengthens and then it will become less of an issue. But since it's like a while since I've ridden and I don't usually ride this long, I've never ridden this long in the past, uh, so I'm not used to it, but it was enjoyable. Just the cold parts were kind of tough. So I'm gonna have to figure something out about that. I think I would obviously definitely be rather hot than cold because when I'm cold, I feel like I can't think of anything else like my mind starts to really focus on the fact that I'm cold and then I start feeling a little miserable so I had a brief period of time like that on the freeway where I was like oh man I'm so freaking cold but then by the time I got to Alpine it started heating up more and then it was not so bad after that and really I don't like going fast on the freeway. I think I honestly, to me, I like 65 on the freeway, but of course that's so slow when you're in a car and I definitely am one of those drivers that are like, what the fuck, you're driving at 65? <laughs> but on a bike, I think that that's like the comfortable level that I like to cruise at because wind resistance really sucks. You get blown around and it sucks so I prefer to go at a slower speed when I'm riding and yeah I mean if traffic sucks 
around me, then I will speed up just so I'm not holding people back. But otherwise, if they can go around me, I would prefer that just because I like cruising on a bike. It's a different feeling. Um, in a car, I like going fast. I like going 80 or higher, but not on a bike. And I had that stupid dead bug on my windshield for the longest time. That was a... Uh, yeah, actually something that I found kind of interesting was while I was riding, I feel like I could see the bug about to hit my windshield. Like it felt like it was slow motion, like I saw the body and then it just like freaking died. Oh, that really, really drained me, I have to say. I'm pretty exhausted right now. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. I, um, I'm tempted to get some pho because I haven't had it in a while. Either that or Korean fried chicken. But I'm also going to check if there's any good movies out worth watching because I have movie pass and would like to take advantage of it. So let's see. Let's see what is out right now. I could see three billboards. I don't know why. For some reason, three billboards, even though it's rated well, I'm still very on the fence about seeing it in theaters at least because in theaters, you have to go there, you have to sit there and be with other people and I don't like watching movies with other people there because you know there's noise, um, no like last time when I went to see Phantom Thread there were people in the audience that were actually bickering a tiny bit during previews because people were talking and it was a little surprising to me how immature some of these older men are because one of them like politely asked him can you guys stop talking and he was like it's not even previews get a life i it surprises me that an older man would even say something like that but you know uh, i don't know you can't really expect much from people nowadays brought with me to my chicken takeout adventure so cute so weird, it's four o'clock and there were three parking spots in front of the Korean fried chicken place, which is so unusual. Like I thought for a second maybe something was blocked off because that just never happens. You never have open spots right in front of a place, but I'm lucky <laughs> again, I guess. Um, it'll be like a quick 10 minutes before I need to go back in and get my food and I guess while I'm around here I'll probably check out bubble tea but if it's lying out the door I'm not even gonna bother I'm pretty hungry and I still think after riding I feel a little disoriented because driving in the car felt a little weird and I was definitely driving slower than usual so still need to get used to it but actually there is dota later tonight Let's see what time it's at. Oh! What? Two hours? Wow, I'm so happy! Oh my god, Dota in two hours? I was expecting it to start at like 11 p.m. or something, but this is amazing news. <laughs> I'm so happy about this. Damn, alright then, no movie today. <laughs> this is gonna be my awesome. Oh. I'm reaching maximum capacity. Oh, so cute. What are you thinking of, Milo? What has been on your mind today? What are your goals? Your goal is to not get shit stuck there, right? Because I just trimmed that yesterday. Look at that opening. He's got a full-on opening. Should be no more problems now. Hello. Finals are starting soon. It's Team Liquid versus LGD. You be lost to LGD earlier. Man, I'm sad. But um, these games have been pretty good, so finals should be just as good. I finally decided to wash my sheets. I am so bad. It's so easy for me to do laundry because it's right there but I just still am way too lazy so I decided to do my sheets and hopefully I remember to dry them before I go to sleep later otherwise I'm fucked. 
I did a short workout, like 30 minutes, but pretty good intensity, so I think that's decent, and I should probably eat something now, so I have energy. Man, the book I'm reading is not good. I don't know how Baratown has so many high ratings. This book is filled with inspirational quote type of passages, and I hate reading stuff like that, so this book is kind of centered on hockey so they have a lot of motivational stuff like I don't have any of them memorized that I can state for you but it's kind of like if you think about those motivational quotes that people post up you know like live life to the fullest kind of bullshit you just feel like it's meaningless right they repeat a lot of the same stuff but phrased differently in that sort of motivational way. But it's not all motivational quotes. Like, it's sports related, it's about winning, it's about like how they're all, the small town is banking on this hockey success and how it's meaningful to different people in different ways. And there are so many things that keeps getting written that is really annoying to read. I'm not interested in the characters, I'm not interested in the story very much but I am also someone that doesn't like to just stop in the middle, so I'm going to finish this book most likely, even though it's really painful to read and it will probably take me a while. So it's gonna slow me down from like reading other books, but oh, I am determined to finish this damn book. All right, I'm going to close out this vlog here because, you know, finals are later on and I kind of want to just wrap everything up, so. I hope everyone had a wonderful Saturday and there's still one more day to enjoy your weekend. So I will see you guys tomorrow.